Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the North Texas Mean Green and the LSU Tigers. Number 14 is a dominant force that the other team should be keeping close tabs on tonight. He loves to use his superior foot speed to catch guys off guard, Brad. He may be young, but he's smart enough to know his strengths on offense. The Tigers will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Tigers are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. First, don't let the other team dictate the tempo or the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Next, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. And lastly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. They work it around the perimeter. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two, doesn't go. He gets that one to fall. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Spacing so important. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He'll get one. Well, the arc looked good. Tough offensive, uh, defensive rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the pass break. He does the sweet fake shot. They'll work it around the arc. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he gets a hand in the way. Good Got a point. nice screen. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Our tent just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Take another look at that play. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The shooting guard takes the feed. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Braxton is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. And the ball goes out of bounds. The point guard with the ball. And a momentary. He rejects it. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, took a chance, and he lost, baby. Point guard gets the pass. He tries the three. Goes. Look at that space. Down inside for the bucket. Perfectly executed. They go into the low block. Executes the baby hook. 
I tell you, waste any time. You've got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Stolen away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. There he is, strips the ball loose. Little bump. Says, I like. He gets the bucket to drop and gets the foul. He felt the pressure on the way up, but managed to keep himself focused on the rim. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. That's a 7 nothing run. Moving it around the perimeter. Good fake. He strokes it. Sinks it. It's the replay, please. The power forward gets the ball. Or two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The Tigers are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. First shot is no good. Got to make the freebies. Nobody blocked out. And once you get into that three-second area, usually good things are going to happen. On the outside. I post screen. Going to use it? I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Try to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Paul, it's mediocre play. has really gotten to him. Hey, he may need some encouragement from one of his teammates. Now trying to feed the low block. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. The center takes the pass. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Shivers, pump fakes. Got the high pick. Drains the shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. <laughs> Trying to feed the low block. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the top of the key. Drains it. Top of the circle goes in. This is worth the second look. Four. 
Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Turns it over. The center is going crazy. Baton Rouge has come alive, Mr. Nestler. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He's got a nice shot fake. Looking for a screen on top and got it. It's good. Let's slow this one down on a replay. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That was nice. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. Gave it up. And now they'll bring it up. Braxton is getting some love from the crowd now. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. And he scores despite the hack. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He shoots from the top of the circle, knocks it down. Jumped in front to take it away. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. You've got that right, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Looking for a good shot. Great anticipation defensively. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Fake. Looking for a good shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. Now the high screen, way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Jump hook from the low block. The Tigers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Man, he's on fire. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's the pick. There's the roll. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Step out on that screener. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Temp 
tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Gave it up. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and add a spin move to the goal. Let's check in court side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, there's a sense of urgency down here at the bench. The coaching staff is stressing it's time to start playing their game. Brad, I think it's time for their star player to start leading his team out here. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. And he'll kick it back outside. They work it around the perimeter. Dump it inside. He pump fakes. The kick out. On the dribble, gives it up. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Picked out of the air. He steals it. Put him off guard there. Gave it up. Fires away. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Take that to the basket. The frustration right there. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. That Rouge has come alive, Mr. Nestler. on the steal that's going to be the offense's game yes sir they got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble i tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box the ball goes out of play boy assist to turnover ratios are big and that's a big turnover i'll tell you they're turning the ball over too often you can't win when you do that STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. He puts it in with contact and all. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. There's the pick. Four. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He'll go to the line. He gets it to go. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Pass 
down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. With the fake. There's the trap. Mate, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. He shows the sweet touch. Working around the perimeter. Gave it up on the inside. Listen to that reaction by the crowd. They're loving it. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. He'll visit the charity strike. He can't get one to fall. He missed it. He takes the rebound. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. Steals a pass. And the ball goes out of play. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He goes for three. He hits the shot. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Let's take another look. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the outside. Wide open for the shot. He unloads a three. Way off target. Too physical. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number 10 coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. Gets the first shot. it around the perimeter. Set that screen away. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach a player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Two for one opportunity. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's see it if the replay does not any justice. They 
They work the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Pressure that basketball. The high screen. The fake. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Shot clock is dead. I think they're trying to make a statement. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the free throw line. Makes the first. He misses his second shot. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. He shoots from right of the circle. He nails the bucket. At the end of the first half, the Tigers are down by eight. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. The crowd really admires this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Hey, Brad, it's embarrassing to get scored on like that. On the inside, leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Watch out, five-second ball approaching. He'll kick it back outside. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. He takes it away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. North Texas are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. He intercepts it. He brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped them. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. The Mean Green are up by 12. On the outside. From three-point territory. Oh, yes.
They strip him into basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. The land. He shoots from the elbow. He makes the shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Intercepted. on top, controlling the ball. And working around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That's good. Looking for a good shot. Controlling the ball. He wants a three. There was no doubt about that one. The mean green lead by 11. And one too many dribbles and a steal. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. There's a double team waiting there. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He fouled him. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. He shoots from the top of the key. He can't miss. And this young man's feeling it, Brad. Up and inside. Entry pass in the paint. He waited for the screen and dropped in a nice inside hoop. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Nice high post screen. Goes. The Tigers are behind by 11. He takes it away. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Look at that spacing. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He tries the three ball. Drains it.
try to come up with a steal, and they do. With a quarterback pack, with the block. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. Got a nice screen. Oh, a whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. Dickie V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. He goes to the line. He sinks it. That's an eight nothing run. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. LSU have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Action's ready to start again. off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Is this home court advantage or what? That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Time to pick up the defense here now. Oh, what a strip, Red. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball. Seals the defense off and explodes to the basket. This school is known for football. It's great to see that the basketball program is now getting some of that attention. They definitely receive a lot of football support, but it's great to see the same folks at the basketball games. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it back to the outside. They work the perimeter. Shots there if he wants it. He shoots from downtown. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. He strips him clean. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He intercepts it. LSU are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. Steals a pass. And he'll kick it back outside. Nice fake. Picks off the pass. Leslie's modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. Emotionally, he needs some inspiration. Oh, 
Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the inside. Puts it up, looking for contact. Up and in. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, this is not the start he wanted tonight. He is his team's marquee performer, and his slow start could be a recipe for disaster. We'll have to see how his teammates respond to all this, and we'll continue to monitor it from the sidelines. Brad? All right, thanks, Aaron. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Has a nice look at the basket. He takes the three. That's an ill-advised shot. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy. They want shooting the ball. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. For two, perfectly executed. Momentary look from three-point land. Basket falls despite the contact. Takes the pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. He takes the three. Got it. Steals the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Trying to draw the foul. Easy one. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Entry pass in the paint. Good job defensively. They just won't get many open. Pressure in the basketball. I need to see that again in slow-mo. Side. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hack. You are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They look like they're having a blast. inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot in the paint for the deuce and he scores it off the glass Brad, this place will be deafening if they can score here and the ball goes out of bounds Is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. I'd celebrate too, Porter. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. And working around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. He shows the sweet touch. He 
Gave it up. Perry handles the feed. Here's a double team. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He hits the shot. Picks off the pass. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. He makes the block. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Stolen ball. Dumps it in. Picked off. Pushes it up. Takes away the pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Picked out of the air. Tries the three ball. North Texas are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they ought to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Looking for a good shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He takes it away. Post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The ball goes out of play. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing, they're getting good shots and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Looking for a good shot. Intercepted. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a cap delay. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. He shoots from downtown. He buries it. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Aaron's right about that. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. For two, he makes the shot. Get back to the action here after the timeout. Shot clock is dead. 
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He shoots from left of the circle. Rims out. The small forward takes the pass. Overtime. These kids must be exhausted, Dick. Yeah, Brad. But this is why you do the suicides, the line drills, and the wind sprints. Have to practice all summer and fall to get ready for something like this. Add extra time to the clock. At the end of regulation, these teams are all even. Overtime is on, baby. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. At this point in the game, clock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. The Tigers will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. The center has gone wide. Baton Rouge has come alive, Mr. Nestler. The center gets the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Off the rim and no good. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. With the free one. He hits his first. Second shot, good. On the outside. Jumped in front to take it away. Basketball is special to me for that reason right there. Dick. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. And let's go back out onto the floor. Try to pack it inside, looking for the foul. Look at this last play right here. Shivers receives the pass. They move it into the front court. He gets it to go. Fakes it. And he'll kick it back outside. 
Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed him, baby. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets it. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Goes in. Tries for two. He knocks down another bucket. This down. kid's got skills, Brad. of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Up and inside. We'll take the shot. Makes it. Pushes it. In the paint. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got him in the face-up position in the post. There's the screen up on top. The center is going crazy. Baton Rouge has come alive, Mr. Nestler. Shot clock runs down. It almost certainly did. All you kids out there should pay attention. This is how you deny the ball on defense. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle, and he can't hit the shot. Gets it to go. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it, of clock management here? And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And yet another foul. Nobody likes this point of the game. The losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hall goes to the line for the first time. Rims off. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. Makes the front end of the one and one. Sinks it. And the T.O., baby. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. The shot from the baseline. He gets that one to fall. The center gets the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of bounds. Shivers handles the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Shivers receives the ball. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. I 
don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. The Tigers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. LSU came away victorious in overtime. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.